Hey there, this is Shira from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can publish a website directly from Figma using Anima. Check out our other videos to learn how to get started with Anima and Figma, add links, videos, live text inputs, and more using Anima. You can find these videos in the description below. So here we are in Figma with our final design. First, make sure you've set the flow to start from the relevant frame from Figma's prototype tab. This frame will be the home page or starting point of your website. Next, make sure that breakpoints have been set up in the Anima Plugins Responsive tab. And now I'm ready to preview my design. Once I'm satisfied with how my design looks in the browser, I'll sync my draft to my project in the Anima web app. Here, I'll be prompted to select my team and project where I want to save my design. Now that my design has been synced, as an Anima Pro user, I can either publish it to my custom domain from any provider such as Google Domains or GoDaddy, or I can publish a free Anima public link. From my project page in the top right corner, I'll click on Project Settings. From here, I can set and access different settings for my project. Under the General tab, I can see my basic project information, and I can archive or delete my project. Under Guests, I can invite guests to specific projects or add more team members to my Anima team. Under the Public Link tab, I can enable my interactive public link to be set live and share it with teammates, users, or whoever I'd like. Anima offers lots of great features to add if I'm building a prototype, such as enabling hotspots to display, showing the restart button or navigation on the bottom of the page, and I can also enable password protection for my site if I want to keep it private. Scroll down to see your site's subdomain, which is automatically generated by Anima. It's the same as the public link we saw above. And here is where Anima Pro users can connect their custom domains to host their site. Open up additional settings to see more ways to set up and customize your website. Under site information, I am able to set up a favicon as well as a cover image, which will display when my site is shared on social media. I can also set up a custom app name and icon to be viewed on mobile devices. Click here to set up SEO settings and tags, as well as analytics. And finally, under form submissions, you can download any entries that have been submitted to your forms. Under the versions tab, I can view or roll back to a previously synced version of my website and set it live. And there you have it. We've published the website directly from Figma. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about using Anima with Figma. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.